Let's be honest. For some of us, the goal is to be self-employed, an entrepreneur, to pursue our true passions and really succeed at the highest level on our time. Everybody has goals and aspirations and there's different pieces and steps to take to become an entrepreneur that even I myself am following to reach that level. But being in the fragrance space, you can't only act the part, you gotta look the part and smell the part. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto five fragrances that have your entrepreneurial spirit on fleek. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to A. So these are five fragrances that I have hand selected, as opposed to selecting with robot, that I feel really have this entrepreneurial businessman kind of vibe. Like these are fragrances that you can surround yourself and start networking with people of like-minded thoughts, or at least with some bread that can help propel your ideas and actually help formulate them into reality. So these are five fragrances that I really feel that are attainable, not too expensive, and will have you smelling amazing because they're all classy, gentlemanly style fragrances that really have a nice little flair to them. So the first one I'm picking is a classic. I, I love this fragrance. It does everything for me. I've mentioned it in a bunch of videos, but the classiness and timeless essence of this fragrance is bar none, and that's Chanel Platinum Egoist. I mean, the freshness, the lavender, the ambery, the cedar that's in here, it's got an old school gentleman vibe, but it doesn't smell dated at all. I think it's still super elegant, very sexy, that you can transition from pitching your idea to somebody to treating them to a nice dinner or some cocktails base to keep schmoozing them so you can help launch your brand or your business off the ground. This is a stellar fragrance, absolutely beautiful, damn near timeless, fresh yet woody. It's got aromatics that make it really relaxing and comforting for you to be around. It has nothing in it that makes it not offensive or really like, ugh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, timeless. I mean, entrepreneurial spirit in a bottle. Platinum Egoist is definitely on that next one. This one is a cheapie that's been loved by many, talked about by every content creator in the fragrance space, and that's Mont Blanc's Individual. It has that old school Yope vibe, AKA Creed Original Santal, AKA cheap as shit, performs super well, and is very mass appealing. It's quite simple of a fragrance, and if you're not in the fragrance space, or you're somebody who just tapped into the fragrance space, then this is gonna be a definite cop for you. Now the people who are in Fragcom, or whatever the fuck they wanna call themselves, are already exhausted to hear about this fragrance. It's been spoken about at nauseum, but when we speak about entrepreneurial spirit and sexy fragrances that are non-offensive and have that corporate flair to it, yet with some sex appeal, Mont Blanc Individual can't be fucking negated from the list. It's a great fragrance for stupid cheap. Performs well, smells like some high-end fragrances, sexy, corporate, what else do you want? Mont Blanc Individual will definitely feel that entrepreneurial spirit. Next one. The next fragrance, is by a content creator like myself, Mr. Smelly 1977 or 78 or 75, whatever year Mr. Smelly was born. But this fragrance is stellar and he killed it with this one. This is Gravitas Porum. I mean, smelling like a gentleman to the 20th power. This is a stellar piece, great entrepreneurial spirit this fragrance has. It's elegant, it's super sexy. You got oak moss, you got lavender, you got that old school fougere vibe with some modern twist to it. You got a fun loving individual who's about his business and definitely can attack the boardroom and pitch his ideas with the utmost confidence and respect. You are able to wear this with nothing but elegance, grace, and absolute confidence, as mentioned, because it's a non-offensive fragrance that definitely has a mature masculinity about it that's fucking sexy. It's sweet, it's herbal, it's loud, it's corporate, it's entrepreneurial. Next one. This one is bananas. This is by Marc Antoine Barrios, and that's B683. Ooh-wee. Spicy, it's got this Sichuan pepper vibe. It's got a little bit of powderiness. It's got some lavender nuances. There's an ambery essence here that lays so sexy on skin. Got a little bit of that Fahrenheit violet leaf, kind of like that petroleum gasoline kind of smell. 
but it's very minimal and it just adds to this masculinity and this big wig corporate vibe. This screams money to me, honestly. This is this is an entrepreneurial at the at the midpoint to his success. Just growing, growing, growing. He's already pitched the idea, he's established the idea, but the grind don't stop. He has to continue growing it and potentially building this into a business that he can sell or pass on. B683 is just insanely good. Next one. Now this last fragrance is by the homie George Zaharoff, and this is his original fragrance, which I loved from the very beginning, and that's Zaharoff Porom. The signature Zaharoff Porom, Definitely, definitely what you would consider old school with a new school twist. It's got a lot of old school elements that just work. You know, fragrance is timeless if done right. You can just wear this for X amount of years and it's still gonna portray that same emotion. But times are changing and we need to modernize things and make the youth kind of catch attention to some old school shit that works, you know what I'm saying? And this Saharov Signature Porom is definitely old school with a new school twist. Great performance, not expensive, very elegant, has all the entrepreneurial facets that you want. You want some fougere vibes, you want a little lavender, you want a little bit of spice, you want an ambery nuance, you want some vetiver touches, or you want some oak moss, or maybe some cedar or some sandalwood vibes. This has it, and so do a lot of all these fragrances. And these five in particular, I feel, are just amazing pieces for you to start your entrepreneurial journey. I think any of these will be able to portray the vision that you're looking for, not just in verbal or body language, but in fragrance too. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would.